Hi everybody, today we have beautiful gaming laptop, Gigabyte G5 KD series, it's an Intel Core i5 11th gen with beautiful graphics RTX 3060 and beautiful screen, 144Hz refresh rate. So let's take it apart, let's see what we can upgrade, fix, replace. Let's start. So, start always with taking out the battery. So that's our battery. Here we have the part number, model number. So if it doesn't work, you can replace it. Now let's take off the bottom case so we can access all the internal components. So now let's separate the bottom case. Let's make sure. So find a gap where you can put your tool and start disconnecting all the all the clips. Work your way around the whole edge to disconnect all the clips. And now the bottom is off. That's our part number. Now we can see our RAM memory slot. So if the memory doesn't work or you would like to upgrade to the bigger one, this is how we can do it. Spread those arms and you can pull out the memory. Here we can see our SSD drive. So if your laptop doesn't boot and tells you there is no boot device or you would like to upgrade to the bigger capacity, this is how you can do it. That's the NVMe SSD drive. Here we have our Wi-Fi card. So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card. Gently disconnect the antenna wires. Okay, now you can take out the card. So that's our Wi-Fi card. Here is the model number. Here we have additional slot for the hard drive. If you would like to extend your storage with the hard drive, you can mount it here. That's the connector, that's the caddy that goes on the hard drive. Here you can see our speakers. So if the sound is bad, you can replace your speakers. Disconnect the speakers from the motherboard. And the speakers are out. Oops. Here we have part numbers. Now let's take out our heat sink and cooling fans. Very often the your laptop can overheat and you would like to repaste the cooling paste or the fans make grinding noise or they don't spin the heat sink is bent then you can replace it so take out these screws All right, now let's disconnect the fan from the motherboard. And now gently lift the heat sink. 
sometimes it may be stuck because of the cooling paste. So be careful, don't dent it. All right. So that's our heat sink cooling fan assembly. Here we have the part number. Here we can see our processor and the GPU. They both are soldered on the motherboard. So if this doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. All right, now let's pull out the motherboard. So disconnect all the cables. Take out all the screws. So you have to take out this blank cover uh, that was holding us. Mm -hmm. So disconnect the wire for the I.O. board. is out. Here we have the part number. Okay, now let's take out our I.O. board. So those are our USB ports. So if these ports don't work, you can replace this board. So that's our I.O. board. Here we have the part number. Here, let's see. Here we have the power button. So it looks like we can replace it. So if the power button doesn't work, we replace this little board. So that's our power button. Here we have our mouse button buttons, right and left and right click. If these buttons don't work, you can replace this board. So those are our mouse buttons. Here we have the part number. Touchpad, it's riveted to the palm rest so you cannot replace it same with the keyboard it looks like it's riveted to the palm rest so you will need to replace the whole palm rest keyboard touchpad assembly in case if these don't work so let's disconnect our screen take take out the screws for the hinges so if you need your parts check gutlaptopparts.com Okay, now gently unfold the hinges. There's one more screw here. Okay, now we can disconnect the harmless keyboard assembly.
Okay. So that's our keyboard touchpad assembly. Here we have the part number. And that's our beautiful 144 Hertz refresh rate screen. Very fragile, very thin, usually sold in one piece. It's hard to this, uh, replace just the screen, just the LCD. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.